The show. Troy Gua. Okay, fake work. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Everything is constantly filtering through my mind, and uh, and it comes out in in my work. I think what is really my inspiration is the the need to be acknowledged and recognized and uh, since I was a little kid you know I used to do impersonations for my parents friends and uh, yeah uh, always did art and that's what I got the pat on the back for and that's what I'm still doing I don't see anything weird in owning that or a sh shameful I think we all feel the same way and for whatever reason can't admit it to other people cause for pride reasons or I don't know why I don't understand why that's hard to own I think everybody wants to be seen but maybe they don't haven't found their personal legend or their their niche in the world or whatever makes them feel worthy and I feel like this is it and it always has been and this lady behind me helped me realize that it's what needs to be done. She's been a huge support and inspiration. And yeah, she's what inspires me. If we come right down to it, Catherine inspires me. I'm not an art historian and I, I don't claim to be. I just make stuff that I think is cool, that I like to look at, that I. Am aesthetically pleased with. So I'm not trying to do anything that falls into any kind of category or under any label. I got constantly new ideas coming out. I can't make them happen fast enough and they're getting backed up and then it, it, it's, that's the struggle. It's like I don't ever have creative blocks. I almost wish I could get one because <laughs> then I could take a true vacation but um, I'm constantly coming up with new ideas like it's yeah let's do this and this and I think I, I, a lot of people have told me well you're just kind of all over the place and it's yeah I don't necessarily have a a theme or a, a body of work that I'm trying to build that is all ultra cohesive so I don't even know if that's I don't want to have that I, I can't think that's that's great for some people but I want to be as diverse and, and eclectic as possible and still hopefully have some thread of semblance so that people can tell it's by the same guy but if not then that's okay too yeah there's various concepts that I'm, I, I, I'm working with and, and I I struggle with the idea that they have to be connected somehow, and I don't know that they do. I hope they don't, because right now I can't see a connection between a lot of the things I do. From day to day, there's different things I'm trying to trying to put out there and trying to make people think about or hope that they'll be interested in looking at. Something that's really important to me that I'm really trying to flesh out in my head is the whole identity labeling system that society has forced upon us or that we've inherited or, or however you want to put it. I've got some ideas, but that's something that I, I really want to um, investigate more. Uh, just about how we portray ourselves to the outside world and and uh, how we see ourselves. I wish I had lots and lots of money <laughs> and lots of space because I think I've got some pretty decent ideas and I just, uh, I gotta figure out how to make that happen. 
And that's my next step. How to get that money. <laughs> <laughs>